What's up everyone and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour on Keep CRM platform, which can help you grow your business. Keep is a customer relationship management platform that can help you to manage your business and your customers and leads. So let's get right into it. First, you need to create your own account. Let's press on try for free. Then it will ask you about uh, your business mail. Then press next. Then it will ask you about some additional information. Let's just fill it and I will be back to you immediately. Now it's building my app. I will just wait for a couple of minutes until it's finished. And here is your dashboard. The most important features lie on the left navigation panel here. Uh, I want to focus on this tutorial on two basic things, which, is, which are how to add appointments and how to add automations. So first to add an appointment, you need to go to my day and select appointments, then select setup appointments. Here it will ask you whether you want uh, to connect uh, any calendar, uh, whether you want to connect Google Calendar or, or Outlook cal Calendar. I will just select the Google Calendar and connect it. Now it asks for the account uh, from which the calendar is going to be added. I chose the account and I will allow it. Now to add an appointment, you can plus, pr uh, press on the plus sign here. Choose the name of the appointment. Let's say Huddle Meeting. And it will be online. Use my online meeting app, my online meeting link. Let's select it. Zoom, for example. And let's press next. The duration, let's say it's for an hour. I will not select a buffer time. Um, I will not select uh, maybe four to four hours notice is good enough. And I will select the available uh, time on my schedule. So uh, if I chose from Monday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., this means that I, I am available for seven uh, for seven hours, which means that I can uh, organize up to seven different huddles. So I will just accept this and I will press next. Uh, here you can add pre-appointment instructions. However, I will just skip this point. And now it will ask you if you want to, uh, to add your, uh, your automation. I will just leave this for now because I will discuss automation uh, as, a, as, a, as a, a different section or a separate section. So I will just finish this. And here is the link to my uh, meeting. I can copy it. I can email the link. I can do whatever I want. So now I will just press done. And here I created my own meeting. Next, I need to create an automation. So I will just navigate to automation. And here it provides multiple uh, templates for me in case I want to use one of them. I can also create my own uh, automation from scratch. However, I will use uh, one of the templates. Here you can see the templates uh, labeled as easy, uh, advanced, or keep default. We will choose an easy one. So let's uh, maybe uh, choose free consultation. When public form is submitted, then immediately or send an email. Im then immediately send an email. So I will just select this template. When public form is submitted, you can choose the type of public forms here that need to be submitted to be activate to activate this automation. So now I have created that if any public form is submitted, which is the link uh, related to my meeting that I have created, which is called the huddle meeting, then immediately send an email. I will keep customizing now. So as we agreed, this one is, is, is done. I will just name this as huddle meeting. And now I will select this as immediately. Then 
I will decide to send an email. This shows that this mail is going to be sent from your mail and this subject is going to be sent to the contact based on his first name. So if your first name is called Jack Miller, then it will write here Jack and here also it will write Jack. So um, I'll just make a small edit on this. Click kindly. Book your meeting using the following link. And luckily, I don't have to go back and copy and paste the link. I can just press on add booking link and I will see my huddle meeting link. Now it has been added. So uh, this mail is, is over. I will just send uh, press on next and I will choose to send it immediately. Next, if I want to add a follow up in case uh, the recipient or uh, the participant uh, forgot to, to add uh, his participation form or uh, to, uh, to the make an appointment using the link, I will just press on this plus sign and I choose a further action, which may be um, send an email. Subject. Huddle meeting. Reservation. And I can say that this is a reminder to book your appointment using the following link for example and i can copy and paste the link again from here best regards and uh, of course i will not like uh, the the mail to be sent immediately so i will uh, delay it maybe um two days for example and i can even choose the specific time to send it, but I will just choose to send it as it is, and I will press on next, and here we are. However, there is a missing part. Uh, since you already uh, decided to send a, an email as a reminder, uh, so that the participant would remember if he forgot to uh, book, and, uh, book the appointment uh, for the meeting. Let's say he, he did not forget and he signed his appointment, so it's not uh, reliable to send him a reminder mail because he has already signed. So here we will create a stop condition. Let's press on the plus sign. Here you will decide uh, when shall I stop the event. It's when an appointment is scheduled. So if an appointment is scheduled for the huddle meeting, I will just stop this condition. And let's press on publish. Now you need to write uh, some data regarding your business email, your address, your city, and your state and postal code so that you can uh, publish these settings. However, I will just skip it for now for the sake of the tutorial's time. So here you have built your own uh, automation. So basically what we did is, we, is that we uh, made our first appointment and we decided uh, the time or the time interval that is available for uh, participants to book the meeting time. And when the, when the participant book his meeting, or when the participant uh, access this mail and book the, the meeting, he will get automatically this mail that asks him to decide the timing for the meeting that he wants. Uh, and after this mail is sent to him, this one, and after this mail is sent to him, uh, if he did not participate, he will get another mail after uh, 48 hours, which remind him to book his own appointment. And if he already uh, reserved his appointment, he will not get this step. So basically, this is how you can control uh, your appointments with your customers. You can... Uh, Organize when uh, when uh, when are you free and when is the time that is most suitable for you to uh, make a meeting, and uh, when your uh, clients uh, are supposed to reserve the uh, the the, the appointment for the meeting, they will get a sequence of action that will happen, and hence uh, it will happen automatically without your intervention. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to use website. Uh, so that was our quick tutorial uh, for today for uh, for. Uh, uh, for keep uh, app 
and its features. If you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching and have a great day.